friends, this is Material Girl 338, otherwise known as Diane. I'm going to do an Instapot recipe, and I'm doing a scarole soup. In Italian, it's scarole. In English, it's escarole soup. But this is my way of doing it, and I'll show you the ingredients. Right now, I have to put a cover on this because the... Uh, I have some sausage links in here, and I don't want them to splatter all over the place. So I just put a, a cover on it, and I just turned it off. I'm browning it just a little bit, just to give it, you know, a little bit of searing on both sides. I'm only using two links of Italian sausage. And I'll show you the ingredients. I have some shallots here. I have uh, about five to six garlic cloves. I may not use all this. I have some diced tomatoes. This is about a can, a cup of uh, diced tomatoes, just to give it some color. I have onions, but I'm using more, and that's surprising because usually I always say I'm using less. And I've got um, cannoli bean, beans, and these were one can of northern uh, beans, and I rinsed them really good, and now I'm straining them in my strainer. And if you watch my other video, you'll see that I froze, um, I was cutting uh, escarole, and I wanted to know if you could freeze it. You can freeze it. All right, so I'm going to just add a little bit of this. Well, maybe I'm going to add the whole bag because it's only a small bag. Okay, and I also have, from this morning, we had some bacon. I'm going to cut it up and just shred it. And I'm going to take this out now. And then I'll show you the next step. I'm going to turn it back on. I shut it off. I wiped around the rim of my cooker, uh, my Instapot, because I don't want all the oil all over it. So I'm just going to saute now. I'm going to add a little bit more oil, because it's going to need a little bit of olive oil. It's a little dry. The oil is still hot. So I'm going to saute the garlic first. I guess I'm using all the garlic. And it does need more oil. Want enough oil to coat the bottom part of the pot. And you're going to use salt and pepper as a seasoning. And now I have a little bit of um, bacon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it up a little, little tiny pieces. Just to give it some more flavor. Okay, so I'm going to just saute my... I'm going to put this on... I just raised it so that I could saute longer. Okay, so the onions are turning like a nice golden color. I'm going to put the shallot in. And so I guess it's taking time when you're putting it in the brown mode. But it's, it's getting hot. I feel it. Also, it was hot, too, because before I added, I browned my sausage. So I'm going to add some onion to it. I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, that should be like, like a cup of the white and maybe a half a cup of the shallots. Okay, so now that's getting warm.
I'm going to season this a little bit. Just salt and pepper. Now these are got to these are got to sauté a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. I'm going to slice my uh, sausage little little tiny pieces, quarters, and then I'll come back. My video shut off in the middle of me doing it, so I don't know how much you've seen. Um, I added the sausage. I cut the sausage in little uh, chunks, quarters, halves, whatever you want. And then I added my uh, escarole. This is frozen escarole, and I you know, told you in the beginning that I had a video that you can freeze escarole. And I added the tomato slices here. And I sauteed the onions and the shallots, and I put the, some of the bacon that I made. If you don't have the bacon, don't worry about it. You don't need it. Um, I'm going to use a can of the cannoli beans, the northern beans. Just mix that up. And now this is uh, the remaining juice that I had, but I actually should measure it so I know how much I'm putting in. And before I do that, I'm going to add my secret ingredient, white wine, three, four, okay. And if you have any chicken broth left over, like I do, use the chicken broth first instead of the water. I'm going to shut this off because I have to set the timer for this. Okay, and now this is only a three pot, um, a three quart instant pot. So it's going to need a little bit more water. I have two cups here, but I'm not going to add the two cups. But I know this soup is going to be delicious. And I may want to add the rest of the cannelli beans, which I'm going to do. Okay? And it's going to need more salt because it's soup. Yep. So I'm going to stir this good. That should be good. And then I'm going to set it for the soup mode. But I'm going to first read my book because I hate to read my books. You know, when it has instructions, I hate reading the instructions. But sometimes you have to do it. So, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you how much time I'm going to give this because it's got sausage in it. The um, scuttle soup is ready. And what I did was I I uh, froze my, my yorkie. Um, the other day when I made it. So I'm serving it with gnocchi and the uh, scuttle. Um, I froze that too. And I the sausage looks delicious. And I just sprinkled a little bit of Pecorino Romano, my favorite, favorite cheese in the world. And um, it's, it's delicious. I already tasted it. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel because I'm I'm experimenting with a lot of good recipes, okay? And um, if you have any comments, please post them below. Bye, everybody.